I wanted to run, but everybody said stop. This is reality. Forget your dreams. Forget your dreams. This is reality. Hey everyone, it's Matt here from Music Speaks, and today I'm speaking with the rather talented Tom Ryder. How are you? Good, hi Matt, how are you doing? Um, very well, very well, thank you. Um, so what's new with you at the moment? What's new with me at the moment? Uh, well, I've released my debut EP in April, it's yeah, called Strings yeah. Attached, um, and I've been playing a few festivals and stuff. I've got, uh, I'm going on my first tour in October uh, with nice. another artist, uh, we're going to certainly London, Ipswich, Cambridge, hopefully Norwich, Brighton, and, and some, some northern towns as well with a bit of luck, so that'd be cool. Wow, awesome. Who's, who's the other person you're going with? Uh, it's Elliot Porter, who is a guy I've known for, for quite a few years. He'd be, he is an artist. He also does a lot of promoting in you know around the South East. So, yeah, hopefully he's can use his experience of touring because I don't have much experience with it. So he's going to be the, the wise old head. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, so obviously um, you put out your um, your EP recently. Like, have you got plans for an album, or are you just kind of waiting to see what what's happening with the EP and what? Yeah, what's what's the plans? Well, I think I mean producing the EP wasn't wasn't a cheap process. You know, no. it, it's something that uh, has set me back a bit. Obviously, it's all completely worthwhile and love doing it. And an album would be a nice step to take, but that's you know that's an even bigger investment. So I think realistically, it would be looking like another EP. But certainly not, you know, before this year's out. It's probably something to think about for next year. Yeah. Okay. Um, we was lucky with this EP. A guy called Robbie Nelson mixed it. Um, he didn't produce it, but he he won two Grammys for his work on Beck's album last year, and wow. he has been involved with some phenomenal stuff. So I think I'll actually possibly go into the studio with him from the outset next time and see you know see what we come up with. That's kind of probably something I'm saving up for as we speak. So. Nice. Well, that's very cool. Um, so yeah, so far obviously you've been featured on um, like BBC Introducing. You've like raised. Uh, was it nine thousand pounds or something for Macmillan Cancer Support, um, which all are both like both incredible achievements. Like, what are some of the best things other than that that have come out of singing so far and, and performing for you? Um, I mean, last year was was quite a quite a bizarre one. I, I I used to have a gig every Thursday in a sort of pub restaurant in Essex, yeah. and in one week Rod Stewart walked in and um, came up to me at the end of the night and shook my hand and said, "Well done, how's your career going?" Um, and just like really nice guy who was actually quite interested, and that was that literally came out of nowhere. I went to play um, amazing in Chris Evans's pub in Surrey as well. Like he was emceeing the night, and you had to actually audition to do a free open mic that night, which was uh, <laughs> unusual. And I, I drove like three and a half hours to get there, but it was that was pretty cool. Um, and I also played at Emma Watson's PA's thirtieth, and she was kind of dancing. And singing at sort of arm's length away from me, and I sort of thought well, this is just quite bizarre. But it was, uh, yeah, no, it was cool. That's amazing. That's a, that's some very cool things. <laughs> um, so, has anything really scary ever happened to you, like while gigging or performing or anything? And if so, what? Um, or has it all been fairly good so far? It's, it it is. Well, it's never you know plain sailing. There's always um, some. There's always some issues. I can't think of. You try and sort of have fallback plans for stuff, you know, have an extra lead or have a, I mean, actually I was playing a gig with, with uh, my band, the Kazans, that's been going for like 10 years. We did a festival gig last year and the bass player broke a string in the middle of the set and you never ever break bass strings anyway, like he'd never broken one before and then he had to leave the stage and we had to play a song without bass while he like searched for another bass. He actually put another string on. Um... And like now, he always carries a spare bass as well for that reason. But you just, it's the sort of thing you just don't really think you're ever going to need to do. No, <laughs> no they, um, they're very thick bass strings, aren't they? So it's yeah, not exactly. something you, what he's not, doing. It's not something you prepare for. <laughs> um, have you got any disgusting habits? Disgusting habits? Well, I, I like what, to I like to throw weird questions. <laughs> any disgusting habits? I'm well, I'm a terrible snorer. But okay. I don't know if that's a disgusting habit. That's just annoying for just everyone annoying. else. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, what's your kind of like usual process for writing and recording, and what sort of inspires you, um, your songs and that? 
I think it's not something you can you can force. Um, you can't sort of sit down and say, right, we'll write a song today. You know, some tong- songs can take weeks to really come together. Yeah. The song you mentioned that raised uh, nine thousand pounds from Macmillan, I wrote it in about an hour. Just yeah, yeah. Whole thing. So it depends on the situation, and I don't know. You sort of sometimes you go through a stage in life where it's, you know bad things happen, whether it's a relationship or whatever. But at least you can get to the end of it and think, right, cool, we've got a song. You know. <laughs> yeah. No, that's. Uh, that, cool. that is it. I mean, if life's going swimmingly, you probably don't feel inclined to write a song. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. life stacking against you is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, what really grinds your gears? What winds you up? Um, I was talking before on radio about people that film gigs, like whole songs on the phone, which they're never going to watch. Yeah. The block, obstructing people's view, it just looks a bit rubbish to have loads of phones in the air. I, I don't really see the point of that. I've noticed, you know, it used to be people might take a picture of the singer singing, mm. and now the thing is, I can actually tell when people are Snapchatting me. You know, right. it's, sort of that, it's like eight seconds of holding there, and you're like, all right, I'm going to really concentrate and hit all these notes correctly because this is on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sensation of like, I'm going to get the next eight. You're always trying to get it right. Yeah. You see that happening, you're like, right, this eight seconds. <laughs> it really it's counts. Gone. It's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything other than music that you're, like, really passionate about? Uh, I've I've always been quite a passionate cricketer. Um, okay. Unfortunately, this season, last season, I didn't manage to play much because of music commitments on a Saturday, and this year it's gone down to zero games I've been able to play. Um but yeah, I'm playing football, um, and I write. I, I'm I'm a journalist part time. Oh. I write for a private jet magazine, uh, which has been yeah, a pretty cool thing to to be able to do, um, and has been really flexible and allowed me to to balance the music with with a regular type job as well. So yeah, yeah a few oh, things cool. going on. Nice. And um, can you remember the first song you ever performed live, and, and what it was? Uh, probably the first song we did live. We threw a little band together at school, and I remember playing Fields of Gold in our, like, it, I mean, talent show, it was called Showcase, and it was kind of a mixture of all lots of crazy different acts, and we, with a teacher, performed Fields of Gold. Um, yeah, that was probably my earliest memory, and, uh, well, I don't know, we got away with it. <laughs> um, has anything really embarrassing happened to you in life, and if so, what is what is it? Um... Anything really embarrassing? I'm sure, yes. I'm, I'm struggling. To... <laughs> That's fine. Put your well, spot. One that is appropriate for your <laughs> channel. Uh, <laughs> because there are some that should not be revisited. Um, <laughs> uh, can't really think of anything. No, that's all right. Uh, uh, no, not to worry. <laughs> um, so what music have you been listening to most recently? Um, I've... I've got a bit of a guilty pleasure thing going on for Megan Trainer actually. I yeah, think me too. She just the songs are really sort of ballsy and really sort of two fingers up to to blokes basically. But yeah. being a bloke, I just find it quite funny. Like I find it very like hooky. It's sort of the same way I felt about Jess Glynn like a year ago. That yeah, everything yeah. You're writing is kind of you instantly get on board with it. Yeah. No, that's cool. Um, and what's the best advice you've ever been given? Uh, Rod Stewart said to me, he said, do you love it? Do you love what you do? I said, yeah, I love it. He said, if you love it and you want it, stick at it. And that's, that's good. That's fair as, you know, can't that's say fair advice. Nice. Um, often I finish interviews with a game of Would You Rather. Are you up for playing that or are you not down for that? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know what the Would You Rathers are at the minute. So, yeah, we'll have oh, there, there's there's tame ones, there's awkward ones, and there's there's WTF ones. I see. Right. <laughs> um, so do you want me to start tame, and if you if you're done, you can call it quits. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Sounds, um, oh, safe word program. I've got to have the safe word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want a safe word? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Would you rather have a third eye or a third arm? Third arm. Play more instruments. Exactly. <laughs> um, be super strong or super fast? 
Uh, I think I'd rather be super fast because I'm very slow usually, so that would be nice to experience the other side, yeah. Nice. Um, go through life unable to ask any questions or unable to answer any questions? Um, unable to ask any questions. Yeah. There. Nah. Okay. Uh, would you rather live in the Disney universe or a Looney Tunes universe? <laughs> I've so I think this, the Disney universe has a lot to offer. There's some good characters in there, so uh, I'll go for that. Cool. Um, okay, the awkward ones then. Um, always speak your mind or never speak again. Always speak your mind. Nice. Listen to Gangnam Style or Harlem Shake for the rest of your life. Harlem Shake, because I'm struggling a little bit more to remember it. Um, Gangnam Style, I know exactly what that is. So. <laughs> um, that. Have your thoughts broadcast so everyone knows what you're thinking all of the time or never be allowed to wear clothes again, but you'll always be able to keep your thoughts to yourself. Um, I, I think the thoughts broadcasting, I tend to broadcast most of them anyway. So I think... <laughs> Fair play. Um, and I, I think I'm going to leave the WTF ones because, yeah, I think you seem too nice to put you through those. Okay. <laughs> um, but I would like to take a massive thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Um, it's been a real pleasure. Obviously, good luck with um, touring later on in the year. That'd be really nice to. Um, obviously, you said you might be coming down to Brighton, so it'd be really cool if I could get a chance to come along and see yeah, you. And... I've got the meeting about it tomorrow, so I'll, I'll let you know. Nice, awesome. Yeah, as I say, it'd be lovely if we could come down and sort of do a review of the gig and get some photos. I've, I've got a photographer that I sometimes work with, so it'd be really cool if you could. Oh, yeah. If, if we could come down and have a look. Awesome. Great. Well, good luck with everything, and yeah. Hopefully see you again. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. I wanted to run, but everybody said stop. This is reality. Forget your